welcome to episode 3 of Thriving Kids. In this video, I will talk about uh, the number one mistake by parents. The mistake that my parents did and I also followed in the early years of parenting. You know, in the quest of, uh, you know, good health and overall well-being for a child, we actually end up doing something which is very, very wrong for them. And today I will talk about the way we treat uh, acute diseases and uh, symptoms. So uh, one of the biggest uh, or the most common uh, symptom is uh, fever uh, and let's take a step back that why fever happens in human body and uh, especially in mammals. Uh, it is a nature's way of uh, fighting with infection with foreign body. So whenever there is any invasion inside the body, the body tries to heal uh, or the fight in the while fighting against that infection, the temperature rises. And whenever we take any uh, medication to suppress the fever, we are actually, uh, you know, feeding the fever. We are, uh, um, you know, it's like taking arms away from the soldiers. So number one mistake that we do uh, during, uh, you know, all these acute diseases or acute symptoms uh, that could be fever, uh, stomach ache, headache, uh, we suppress it with some medication or remedies. The other thing that we do is we think that you know when the child is having fever or when I have fever let me eat something because I'll feel more energetic and that's the worst thing that we can do. Eating during fever is feeding the fever it's as simple as that. The moment I eat I'm actually what what uh, doing is uh, diverting all the efforts of uh, body from fighting the infection to digesting. So the process of digesting, assimilating and elimination is so complex and so, so energy consuming that all the energy gets diverted to this process and uh, the, you know, and we are compromising in uh, dealing with infection. Then third thing, whenever there is any acute diseases, uh, we don't, uh, take any uh, you know therapy of these five elements for which this body is made up of uh, so get plenty of sunshine um, fresh air uh, fresh water uh, and also um, you know the br breathing really helps so uh, to g just give you an example um, let's say there is fever right just paying attention to breath uh, during high grade fever and uh, and not eating will really help in uh, in uh, in recovering then uh, the cr critical part is elimination of filth from the system that is one thing uh, uh, that really helps uh, during i mean in general also it helps but during fever or any acute diseases make sure that the bowel is clear and uh, it's like saying that if a dustbin is full of filth, it will attract more flies, right? While uh, the dustbin without any uh, filth or, uh, you know, which is uh, cleaner will not attract flies, which is cleaner, closed, will not attract flies. So uh, it's as simple as that, making sure the bowel system is clean and just rest. So, but then often, uh, uh, you know, there is this uh, fear of fever that what if the you know fever becomes really really high what happens to the child then so reducing the temperature you know from outside let's say from uh, head uh, toe just making sure that my you know uh, head is not very warm that little activity we can do with cold fermentation but then uh, what is very important to know uh, during fever is do not eat because eating really uh, sabotages the plan of healing and as you know uh, with prolonged uh, let's say abuse of the system let's say every time you know somebody is having fever and they pop in a pill like a paracetamol or crocin what we are doing we are actually uh, compromising the body's uh, self-healing ab ability and then body becomes really dumb because it's not getting opportunity to heal and it will uh, just, you know, uh, whatever the way I treat my body, the body also gets used to it. So making sure that during any acute uh, uh, diseases, now same goes true with stomach ache, loose motion and all of that. Whenever there is any 
such uh, uh, let's say loose motion the body is trying to eliminate the filth from the system uh, but then in this process we eat some medicine to stop the elimination so so this is something which we should definitely avoid whatever is body trying to do let's go with the flow and just resort to the five element therapy which is getting enough sunshine uh, clean water breathing get earthing uh, walk barefoot uh, you know and just uh, reduce the inflama inflammation in the system because of all the um, the gadgets that we are surrounded with uh, there is inflammation that is very natural that gets happen so that gets neutralized when we do uh, earthing which is like walking barefoot on earth uh, earth means uh, you know like soil uh, wet mud uh, beach sand beach um, yes so the crux of this video is during any any acute diseases uh, stop eating food uh, make sure that filth is el eliminated and get plenty of uh, the five elements which our body is made up of um, and that's about it uh, let's uh, uh, catch up in the video number 4 uh, which is more about uh, the overall health because once my acute health is or acute diseases are uh, you know taken care body's intelligence is restored then there are other aspects that we can work on uh, thank you and have a nice day